Thank you, Eric. Tonight we're following up on the list released by the Providence Diocese of clergy members credibly accused of sexual abuse. The Providence List and others follow a bombshell grand jury investigation into clergy sexual abuse in Pennsylvania released nearly a year ago. But if a Rhode Island grand jury conducted a similar investigation, the public might never learn the outcome. Iowa News News reporter Kim Kalunian joins us now live in studio with why. Kim? Well, Mike and Shannon, right now state law only allows a grand jury to release the results of its investigation if there's an indictment. Think 38 Studios. So no matter what the grand jury unearths, it could be kept secret and this year a push by the attorney general to change that failed to get the support of lawmakers and I think attorney general Peter Narona says he's reviewing evidence related to clergy sexual abuse in Rhode Island that evidence could eventually be handed over to a grand jury but under current state law that grand jury would not be able to make its findings public if no indictment is returned this session Narona submitted a bill to change that saying while our legislation would have no impact on our ability to investigate clergy sex abuse it could have a profound impact on what the public eventually learns about that investigation his bill would have implemented a new court supervised process for the release of grand jury reports in the absence of indictments. It would be the same process the Pennsylvania Attorney General used for his grand jury report on clergy sex abuse last year. But Narona's proposal stalled at the State House. A General Assembly spokesman tells Eyewitness News this was a new bill this session which had not been heard in previous years. While it certainly had merit, concerns were raised during the committee process. Let, let's understand this for what it is. Narona says, while I envision this process to be used sparingly, I believe it would be a valuable tool that would benefit the people of Rhode Island and will continue to advocate for this legislation. And although the bill failed to win lawmakers support this year, a spokesman tells us they will continue to review the legislation should it be introduced again next session. Live in studio, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.